Hi, and welcome to another Matia Calculus tutorial. Today we'll be talking about arc length of a curve and surface area. So for arc length, the formula to find it is the integral from a to b of the square root of 1 plus dy dx squared dx. And now where did this formula come from? Well, if you were to have a curve, I'll just say f of x, Johnny, any function right here. Uh, and if you were to draw a triangle, uh, in using the hypotenuse to approximate the uh, arc length, uh, the length of the hypotenuse would be, uh, using the Pythagorean theorem, uh, the, d, the x plus y, um, x squared plus y squared, and the square root of that would be the hypotenuse. But as we make that triangle smaller and smaller, it becomes a more accurate representation of the actual arc length, but just an infinitely small portion of it. That's why when we use integrals, uh, we can have, we can find the arc length uh, because it's using, uh, with respect to x, it uses every single one of those little hypotenuses, if you can imagine that. So how does the square root of dx squared plus dy squared uh, turn into this? Well, if you were to factor out a dx squared, uh, it would be dx squared times 1 plus dy dx uh, so squared. And since that is under the uh, fa uh, square root, uh, you could take out the dx squared, and that results in the equation that we have above. And then we just need to integrate that from a to b to find the arc length. Uh, going off of that, surface area is uh, using a very similar concept. Uh, you take 2 pi r, which is circumference, uh, multiplied by the length, and that gives you the surface area. So if you were to revolve this around, uh, say, the x-axis, um, this would be, uh, the surface area would be 2 pi times f of x, uh, and then multiplied by the length with respect to x. So an example problem, uh, if you were to, it would be to ask the length of sine of x, uh, where x is between x over 4, I mean pi over 4, uh, to pi. Uh, and to find this, you would simply use the equation uh, where the arc length, al, uh, would be equal to the square, uh, sorry, the integral of pi over 4 to pi of the square root of 1 plus cosine x squared, uh, cosine x being the derivative of sine x, uh, and then dx. And if you were to compute that using a calculator or some other device, uh, you would get 2.7621. And uh, going off of that again, with if you were to find the surface area, uh, it would be this integral of pi over 4 to pi, the bounds do not change, uh, of 2 pi times f of x, in this case it would be sine x, and then multiplied by the length, which is square root of 1 plus cosine x squared dx. Thank you for watching. This has been How to Find Arc Length and Surface Area, presented by Matia Calculus.